Hi, Guidepost. I'm Leslie Stahl. You probably know me from 60 Minutes, or I hope you know me from 60 Minutes. But I'm here because I've written a book called Becoming Grandma. I was inspired to write the book when I didn't understand my grandmother emotions. When my first granddaughter, I have two granddaughters, the first one was born, I was rushed with an unexpected, um, enormous, almost thunderbolt of emotion, joy, elation. I mean, physical, it just took over and then blasted. And I didn't get it. I, no one can explain that. And so I just wanted to know what, what is that? And uh, do all grandmothers have that? And do grandfathers have that? And so the book is, is actually called Becoming Grandma, The Joys and Science of the New Grandparenting. There is some biochemistry going on when you have a grandchild. What's being spread through your body are what they call bonding chemicals. And you bond with that baby, and you bond unlike when you were a mother or a father. Grandfathers have this too. Um, because grandparent connections are uncomplicated. You are not the, the one responsible for them being upstanding citizens. You're there just to love them. And this is all, these are all the things I've learned in doing research for the book. When you get old enough to have a grandchild, you're looking down the world and you think, okay, I'm in my last chapter, what am I gonna do? What, what's that gonna be like? And the grandchild comes along and you, you have this notion that that next chapter is gonna be just wonderful. I kind of end the book with a call to arms for grandparents to get more involved. Even if they're very involved, up it. And if you're not very involved, make it very. Even if it's long distance, you can do it long distance, I am. And so uh, I guess that's my main message of the book. Years and years ago, I did a story for 60 Minutes on Mark Zuckerberg at Facebook. This is before I even knew what social media was, and he had to explain it to me, you know, as if I was in kindergarten. And he said one of the things he was doing was playing Scrabble with his grandparents across the country somewhere. And he was more connected to them than he had been before he developed Facebook. And I, of course, never dreamed in a million years that I would get to the stage where I would be having that connection with my grandchildren. Now, we FaceTime. We do it that way. Uh, because mine aren't old enough yet uh, to have a Facebook page and so forth. But a lot of grandparents do. And kids are more likely to have a like, or whatever that expression is, with their grandparents than with their parents. 